we are going to offer up our Crown Royal Athletes of the Week. I'm going to start us off. My Crown Royal Athlete of the Week is Chad Henney. It has to be Chad Henney. Henney given Sunday. Anything is possible. Any way we slice it. Now, I'm not going to do this many times for a quarterback who threw a 59.4 passer rating. I'm probably not going to do that. Six of eight, 66 yards, no touchdowns, an interception. Let's get to the good stuff. Third and 14, scrambles for 13 and a half yards. They go for it on fourth and one and throws a perfect pass to Tyreek Hill, clinching the win. Oh, my God, saved me so much money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Chad Henney, you are my Crown Royal Athlete of the Week. Charlotte, who are you going with? Aaron Rodgers is my Crown Royal Athlete of the Week. The Packers had a 13-3 and season for the second year in a row. Aaron Rodgers at 37 had a career-high 48 touchdowns, uh, only five interceptions. He's completed 23 of 36 passes for 296 yards uh, in the divisional round. He threw two touchdowns. I think Green Bay, as we said, is playing the most perfect football you can play right now. Uh, we'll see how that works out against the other number 12. But for now, I don't I don't see how there's any other argument for anyone else for MVP after the season that Rodgers has had and what mm. he's doing in the playoffs. All right, Dave. I will go with uh, Tom Brady, of course, advancing to the title game. Thanks to Drew Brees, who paid it forward among the high-end quarterbacks of the 21st century. Um, Ten years and 51 weeks after Brett Favre did the same for Drew Brees. In that same joint, in the Superdome, the Ott 9 NFC title game, Drew Brees got to the Super Bowl because Brett Favre um, through a terrible pick in overtime. Also, Adrian Peterson fumbled three times in that game. Were it not for that, Drew Brees would be the 21st century Dan Fouts, which is a stats machine, surefire, first ballot Hall of Famer, can't tell the story of pro football without him, who never even got to a Super Bowl. Drew Brees is very fortunate that he got that ring, thanks to Brett Favre. Now, Tom Brady has a chance to get a seventh ring, thanks to Drew Brees paying it forward, like I say, throwing some terrible, terrible picks. And also, I don't know what this jive is about. He might come back. It's time to hang it up, number nine. Good day to you, sir. Well, they hugged. They hugged and hugged right there an hour or two. Was it three, four hours after the game? <laughs> Tampa and Drew <laughs> embracing. Sorry, I was thinking about a, a four-hour hug between Tom Brady and Drew. Would you watch that? I would watch this. No, I wouldn't watch that.